Hey, what is going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and I just want to give a huge shout out to GearBest for sending me this Anycubic Delta 3D printer. They also hooked me up with a code for you guys. It's K3DP, which will give you the printer for $169.99, which is pretty crazy. So links will be in the description. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing video. Uh, normally, with the unboxings, like at least on half of them, I actually record them just live, like unedited, and then upload them. But for this one, I wanted to do it a little bit differently. Um, one, because it was really late at night and I couldn't be very loud. And two, there was just some other things that I kind of want to talk about while you guys get to look at the unboxing video. Um, the initial thing that I saw with this 3D printer was that it came with an actual paper booklet that was color and it had a parts list as well as the complete build guide. Um, that might seem small, but that's a really, really big thing. Out of all the kits I've ever printed, there's never been um, very much of a detailed inclusion. And so to actually have that in there and um, have one that's pretty decent was extremely nice. Uh, on top of that, I was very surprised to see that they actually included a one kilogram spool of black PLA, which is primarily the plastic and color that I use for most of my prints and models. So, I mean, that's like another 15 or 20 dollar inclusion so that was really cool um but yeah once i open up the box uh the box that comes with this printer is relatively small and the amount of things that were actually fit inside there because of the uh, nature of the delta style 3d printer being kind of long and narrow versus a uh, more standard cartesian style printer which is you know more of a cube ish shape normally um there was a ton of different things in here and everything was very nicely packed and labeled which was a huge plus um all of the screws and hardware um had little numbers and most of them said what they were but they at least had like numbers for example like c1 through c25 and then you could use the little key uh at the front of your booklet that tells you what each letter you know re represents essentially um the board that came with it was a pretty neat looking custom board. Um, it looks like it's some sort of a standard kind of Arduino ramps combo board. Um, it had the removable stepper motor drivers that were already installed, so you don't have to install them. They also came with uh, kind of those little standard uh, heat sinks that you normally have that you can put on them to <clears throat> help keep some heat off of those drivers, um, you know, for long use because they do get pretty hot if you don't have that. And then everything else, I mean, up until now, has been pretty standard. You've got your belts, you've got your end stops, a random bag of various pulleys, and uh, actually aluminum parts, which was surprising. There's a decent amount of aluminum parts. Um, the thing does also come with an LCD screen, which is really cool. You've got a adapter, which um, the power plug that it came with mine was in US standard, so I wouldn't need that. Um, the hot end is like an E3D style clone, which is pretty cool. Um, as long as it's been machined correctly, the clones work fantastic. That's actually what I run as an upgrade in most of my printers. So that'll be an upgrade that I don't have to do to this machine. And like I stated, there's the LCD screen, which uh, I don't really use too much, but it's also a nice inclusion. And on top of that, there's this housing for the LCD screen, which is actually aluminum. It's extremely like heavy duty filling. I literally knock on it in the video just so you can see it's, it's solid. It's really, really nice. Um, you also get a little SD card to USB attachment for the SD card that was included. I'm not sure what the SD card is for, what's on it. I haven't checked yet. I would imagine probably the usual stuff, maybe like a PDF of the build log, maybe a slicer software, and I'm sure you can use it to load up um, uh, sliced files. So that way, if you want to print um, directly from the printer, you can do so with that LCD screen. Um, there's a little aluminum block, which is for the hot end housing. Then we've got a bunch of these plastic corners. The smaller ones are gonna be used for the top and the three bigger ones are gonna be used for the base of the 3D printer to connect all of the 2020 extrusions um, and to essentially just build and put, connect the frame of this printer. Um, the printer, I believe off the top of my head, it's 180 um, millimeters like wide or circular and 300 millimeters tall which is extremely long I try to show you guys but the 2020 extrusion I've got pretty long arms and this is significantly longer than my arms so kind of a silly comparison but um, also the bed is got a glass bed which I was pretty surprised that from China it came with a glass bed but it did and it didn't break um, they also give you this any cubic it's like a adhesive sticker um, 
but it's texturized so it'll be interesting to see I'm sure things will stick relatively well to it. I just don't know how long the life expectancy is going to be of it, like how many prints it'll work for until it's destroyed. Um, also, you get a standard, it's just like a acrylic um, filament holder, which is common with a lot of these kits. I never use them, so, but if you don't have something like me where I have like a long spool thing with 10 different hold, like 10 different filaments I can just feed down, then, you know, it, it's it'll work for the time being. Then we've got our bag with all the hardware, which one huge plus is that everything, again, is labeled and in individual bags. That's a huge like time saver and headache saver. Um, we've got these bearings, which use to move the different uh, axes or legs of the printer. Um, and it looks like they're surrounded with like a nylon um, ring, which is what's gonna move it up and down. No idea what this last aluminum part was. And then we've got these, um, the parts that connect the hot end, these are, this is what essentially moves your hot end around while it's printing. I don't know what the exact name of them are. Um, they were extremely light, which was kind of surprising to me. Um, in the booklet, it says that they're carbon fiber. I don't know that they're truly carbon fiber, but if they are, that maybe would make sense as to why they're so light and uh, feeling strong. Well, yeah, this is everything that came with it. I'm really excited to be able to build this printer. I did some research on it and it looks extremely promising. And for the price, it's extremely cheap, um, like in the same realm of the NA8, but it's a bigger printer and it's a Delta style. So we'll see how it goes. Again, links will be in the description. Don't forget to smack the like button and I will see you in the next video. Peace, guys.